Hey guys, this is Burr from Inside Outline and welcome back to another Cricut video. In today's Cricut Business Success Story video, I'm going to be sharing another Etsy shop with you. Um, so before we jump into this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so today the Etsy shop that I'm going to be sharing with you is the Expressive Shop. And before I jump in, I do want to say that the reason I do these videos is to let Cricut business owners know that you actually can make money selling your Cricut projects, okay? So I know a lot of people that get Cricut machines, they want to sell the items that they make. They want to sell the items at pop-up shops and online on Etsy, on social media, on their own websites. And it is actually possible to make money selling your Cricut projects. Um, so again, that's the premise or that's the basis for why I do these Cricut business success story videos. It's just to inspire you and to motivate you to keep moving forward because you actually can make Make money selling the projects that you make with your Cricut machine. Okay, so um, the Expressive Shop on um, Etsy, um, they are based in Texas. And as you can see, they have uh, 4,100 sales on Etsy. So what I'll do now is just kind of scroll through to give you um, a preview of their Etsy shop. And as you can see, um, over here on the left side, they do have all of their items uh, in sections, and that helps when uh, customers basically want to filter all the items that you sell. If you put your items in um, sections, um, it's basically categorizing those items so that customers can easily filter through your items. So um, overall, they have about 115 items. And as you can see, the bulk of their items are uh, keychains. So I know a lot of people like to sell the acrylic keychains. And as you can see, just from looking at these items, uh, that's primarily what this Etsy shop sells. She also has uh, pencil holders, badge holders, wedding slash bridal items, uh, packaging inserts, hand sanitizer holders, uh, bead keychains, t-shirts, sunglasses, and pins as well. I do know that uh, Etsy only gives you so many sections that you can use. Um, I don't remember the count off the top of my head, but you do not have an unlimited number of sections. But again, sections just allow you to uh, categorize your items so that customers can easily filter through. So um, I'm just going to scroll through her Etsy shop. You can see the different types of uh keychains or like the different designs that she sells. Um, obviously, a lot of what we're seeing are those round keychains um, with those tassels on them. Um, on these, they're pretty much clear, but on this one, it looks like she may, or the uh, owner, I assume that it's a lady. Let me scroll back up and see. Um, I don't know right off the bat, um, but let me just scroll down to the about page first so we can learn a little bit more about this uh, Etsy shop. So on Etsy since 2020. Um, enjoy custom keychains to bring out your personality. Stay organized with my 2022 three-in-one journal notebook planner or make a statement in my t-shirt. So again, a variety of options that she's uh, that this person is selling. I keep saying she, I just assume that it's a she, uh, which may not be the case. Um, expressive shop is all about expressing yourself through statement t-shirts. I believe in spreading love, life, and faith to the world. My items are guaranteed to give you a daily reminder, inspiration. My 2022 three-in-one journal notebook planner will assist you in accomplishing goals, keeping a budget, manifesting, uh, staying motivated, self-care, and fitness. The custom keychains are a perfect gift uh, giving or, or gift giving or a keepsake. Being able to personalize uh, makes them even more memorable. Grab yours today. Um, so not a lot about the Etsy shop owner um, themselves, but uh, again, that's just a little bit about the Etsy shop overall. I'm going to scroll back up and just uh, go through um, this Etsy shop and let you know my thoughts. Um, so again, we have a lot of those round keychains. I like that Etsy tells you how many people actually have them in the cart because obviously that kind of lets you know what people are looking for and what people are actually buying. Um, this QR code keychain, that is absolutely amazing. I've never seen uh, a QR code keychain. Um, so I think that's a really cool and clever idea. Um, I've never seen the the square keychains either, the square acrylic keychain. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I see that she has some heart keychains as well. Um, moving down, um, these are bridesmaids uh, keychains. Um, those are really cool as well. Those are more rectangular. Um, this one is, is really cool too for teachers. So she has a lot of 
the Etsy shop owner has a lot of uh, different variety of keychains. And as you saw above, they have 86 keychains. Um, so just scrolling down, I won't spend a lot of time going into, you know, showing you all the keychains that are available. But again, just a lot of different types of keychains. Again, when you see the ones that are um, in people's cart, you know, Currently at the recording of this video is June, 2024. So graduation season is upon us or has recently passed. And as you can see, a lot of people have um, those graduation type keychains in their carts. Um, you also have some teacher keychains. Again, here's another graduation. So you definitely wanna, um, whenever you have your cricket business going, you definitely wanna be mindful of the different celebratory seasons and holidays that uh, come about. And you definitely want to kinda, um, you know, maximize on those um, opportunities. So what I'm gonna do now is to go down to the about section. I do like that on Etsy, they allow you to put your links um, in your Etsy shop. So the only uh, link that they have right now is a link to um, a website. So I'm gonna click on that and see where it takes us. Um, and this is to um, their personal shop. Um, I don't know if this is a Shopify store or not, um, I can't really tell right off the bat. Um, let me just right click and click view page source. Sometimes when you look at the code, you can tell um, what type of store it is. Not that it really matters, but sometimes I'm just a nerd and I like to see what platform uh, people have built their um, stores on. Um, so just from a quick glance, it does say Shopify, I'm seeing Shopify. Um, I'll just search for the term Shopify. So this this kind of lets me know that this is a Shopify store. Again, it doesn't really matter, um, but I do like to know uh, what platform people are using to sell their products on um, for whatever reason. Um, so anyway, this is their uh, website. I'm gonna click on the about, about Amor Amra. Amor Amra LLC was established from a vision given to twin sisters who stepped out on faith with only a word from God and a bachelor's uh, degree in business administration. Amor is the universal meaning for love and Amri's and Amra means life and faith. It is only right together. It represents loving life. Their strong work ethic and dedication has brought success to everything they set out to do. The main goal is to inspire and uplift others to be the best version of themselves. Amor Amra believes in motivating uh, through inspiring words of encouragement and by acts of kindness. That is why proceeds will go towards building their charity and actively giving back to the community in all ways possible. And so very, very nice, you know, background information. Um, just looking at their website, um, again, we can see some of those same products that were over on Etsy. And I will say that, you know, if you're selling on Etsy, I do recommend setting up your own separate web shop site on Shopify or um, Squarespace, Big Cartel, any other outside platform, because Etsy can change up their algorithm. And, you know, you may go from seeing a thousand sales in one day to maybe 10 or 20 sales. And that definitely can, um, you know, it hurts your revenue stream, the money that you make. So I definitely always recommend if you can afford to, to definitely set up a separate website outside of Etsy. Um, and that way too, you, whenever you have customers, um, that are looking for your products, you can send them directly to your online store. So with this one is amoreamra.com, right? But if you have an Etsy shop and you uh, send someone a link to your Etsy shop, um, hopefully they would purchase through your Etsy shop. But there are uh, times when, you know, Etsy shows other products on your page or similar products on your page. And someone may click over to a different product from a different shop, not even knowing that they left your Etsy shop. And so that's one of the downsides of only having an Etsy shop is because you can't control whether or not a person, you know, purchases purchases from you or from somebody else. So just to give you an example, uh, what I'll do is to just open up, um, and just open up this keychain. Gonna scroll down and keep going. So they have this section right here that says more from this shop. So that lets you know that these are other keychains from this Etsy shop that we're currently looking at. But if you keep scrolling down, you will see where it says you may also like. And if you look at that um, second row of text underneath each one, those are the different Etsy shops that 
um, also sell, you know, key uh, keychains and whatever product you're looking at. Okay, so let's say that somebody lands here because they like it. Um, you know, they may keep scrolling down to the very bottom and come down here and see a different product that they like. So that's one of the downsides about only selling on Etsy is that, you know, they while a person may land on your Etsy uh, shop or on your product that's on Etsy, they may end up ultimately purchasing from a different shop. Um, obviously, you're going to have that anytime you're selling online because people are always looking for specific things. People are always looking for deals. And if there's a cheaper price, for a product that's similar to yours, they may end up going with that cheaper price. So um, it's not to say that you shouldn't sell on Etsy, but that's just something to be aware of and mindful of, okay? So just going back to their, um, their Shopify store, also sell clothing, journals, keychains, tote bags. Um, so it seems like they sell way more on their uh, Shopify store than what they sell on um on Etsy and, and that's okay. Uh, what I did not see on Etsy that people typically include as well down here is uh, links to social media. So what I'm gonna do over on her Shopify store or on their Shopify store is to see if they have links to social media. So I'm just gonna scroll down and it looks like they do have a Facebook page. So I'm just gonna open that up in a different tab and see what that is looking like. Okay, so here we are on uh, their Facebook page for Amora Amra um, and 440 likes, 465 followers, and they have not posted anything since February of 2022. Um, so doesn't look like they're really active on social media anymore, um, and that can be for whatever reason. Uh, but looking over here, I do like that, you know, they have um, a description about their business. They have a email address, website. Um, and then as I always state, this background cover that you see and also your logo, you can create those in Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, you definitely need to get a Canva account. They do have a free uh, version and they also have paid subscriptions as well. Um, so yeah, if you like that background, create your own logo, you can do all of that in Canva. Um, but that's about it over here on Facebook. Gonna go back and check out their Instagram page. Okay, so 36 posts, 135 followers. So it does seem like they were getting more followers on uh, Facebook as opposed to Instagram. And you know, that's okay. Um, you have to go to wherever, you know, people are engaging with you. Um, so it does look like the last post that they made was in January of this year. Before that, it was in November. I do like that they're using those hashtags. That's also can help you get, you know, your products in front of more people as well. Um, so not really, they're not really active on social media anymore. I'm not sure what that's about, but you know, life happen, happens to us all. One last thing that I would like to do, I'm gonna go back over to their Etsy shop and see if they're still active because you know a lot of times people can go dormant, like you know they're not posting on social media, uh, but they're still you know actively selling. So let's see if that's the case for this Etsy shop. And what I'm gonna do is to scroll up to the review section and come over here to the right side and click on sort by and you want to make sure that you click on most recent okay and so it looks like the most recent review was on june 18th before that was june 14th june 14th june 14th um june 13th so it looks like they're still uh, making and selling keychains on etsy um so that's a really really good thing even though they're not engaged on social media anymore they're still making sales on etsy and again they have about 4100 uh, sales on Etsy. So um, this was another Cricut business success story. Um, you may be wondering, how do I know that they make these keychains uh, with their Cricut machine? Because in this video, um, when I was exploring their about section and their Shopify store, there was nowhere that indicated that, that they use their Cricut machines. Um, I'm definitely going to go out on a limb here and say that they probably use a Cricut machine to create these, um, these keychains. 
uh, obviously all you can do is go on Amazon, buy those keychains in bulk. And then if you have a Cricut machine, you cut out that adhesive vinyl and put it onto those keychains. So that's my Cricut business success story for today. Um, and again, that shop was Expressive Shop on Etsy. Again, this video is meant to encourage you if you're looking to um, start a Cricut business or start a business selling the products that you make with your Cricut machine, you can most definitely make money. You just have to be consistent. You definitely need to get on a platform such as Etsy. I always recommend starting with Etsy because the cost of entry is very low. I do not recommend starting out with your own website because um, you know, on Shopify, a monthly subscription can cost you about $40 a month. And if you're not ready to make that uh, financial investment, again, using a platform such as Etsy, um, the entry cost is very low. I think it costs about 20 cents to le list each product that you put on Etsy. So that cost is um, very low. Um, but again, uh, I hope that this video inspired you to, um, you know, sell the projects that you make with your Cricut machine. Um, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting for people that want to start businesses by uh, selling the Cricut products that they make. I also help you build your website, business cards, and everything uh, like that. So be sure to check out my website, shop.insideoutline.com to check out some of those services that I offer to Cricut businesses. Or if you want to get familiar with using your Cricut machine to make different projects, um, I also offer one-on-one one cricket um, sessions as well. So um, if you all have any questions, be sure to leave those down below. Uh, questions or comments, leave those down below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.